Welcome back to the Cabbage Patch. I'm Dad. I'm Tommy. And I'm Gus. What did we do today? We played Warhammer, Warhammer Age of Sigma, Crypt Hunters. Hunters. Crypt Hunters. It's a dungeon crawler set in the Age of Sigmar universe, which is the Warhammer medieval times, yeah. uh, where you're these castigators, which are basically goat, ghost hunters, and the one, one player plays them, or one side plays them, and the other side plays the chain rafts, which are the ghosts. Yes, they're very mean and scary. Right. And what's the point of the game? Well, you have to get the MacGuffin. The, what was it called? The Haitian... The Haitian... The Haitian... The Haitian light bulb. The Haitian light bulb. Uh, what's it called? Come on. You Haitian remember. light bulb. It's not called the Haitian light bulb. <laughs> no, it's called the Haitian light bulb. It's called the... Haitian Illuminator, Illuminator, which is a lot like the Haitian light bulb. So you have to get to this. So you got to land one of your good guys on this tile. And this tile lives at the bottom of this deck So you of just have to tiles. run away from the ghosts. Right. So how do you find new dungeon tiles? You walk. <laughs> you walk. And as soon as your character has a line of sight... We you place you down another place a dungeon good. tile down. And as long as it's straight. And as long as it's straight, down. you keep placing them down until there's a bend in the road. And then you can see these, but you can't see past here. Oh, and, and the whole game is about exploring the dungeon. But there's a twist to the dungeon building. There's a twist to the dungeon building. If what you is move it? off, if, if you, you stop move, looking at a thing. Stop looking at a thing. Then it disappears. So if then if there's this guy there, so if there's a guy on your team there, then that's you not have good. To choose who, who yeah, dies. Yeah, if there's a guy on your team there, then they all go. If there are ghosts, chain rafts there, then they all go, right? So suddenly, then the map gets really small, but it builds out. So you work through this dungeon tile deck until you find the MacGuffin, the Haitian Illuminator. And you're rolling dice and fighting monsters. Each of your castigators has an ability card with an attack value, which is the number of dice you roll to attack, a move value, which is how many squares you can move when you do a Correct. move action, and a number of wounds you can take, which is how much damage you can take. And um, the doggo here, uh, Valiant, which is like a griffin looking guy. Will die immediately. He only can take one wound, but he's fast. He can move two squares on his move action. The other guys have mostly moves of one. Some of them have attacks of three. Some of them have wounds of three. Some of them attacks of two. Some of them have wounds of two. So it's a it's a balanced team with some strong guys and some weak guys. And you're fighting through the dungeon. We screwed up a couple of things when we played. One, there can be up to three... Ghosts. Chain rasts on a tile at one time. So when we're placing the chain rasts, which you do at the at the, the last half of the, the each round, um, you can place another one behind uh, on the same tile as others. And the castigators, after the first turn, they all start on the same hex. But after the first turn, only two of them can be in a hex at a time. We were playing it as if they couldn't be in the same hex ever. They can move through each other, but not as the same hex. So the playthrough's a little messed up there. Um, for that other things is I think we messed up the uh, first couple of times where hexes went away so uh -huh. these castigators couldn't see this hex so this hex goes away and it, I think it takes all the, ghosts. all the ghosts with it and that's cool and then last but not least I was at the very beginning of the game bringing out the chain rasp king too early because I'm only allowed to place three chain rasps, up to three chain rasps on a turn. And I can only place the king when there are four already on the board. Yeah. So, so I think, I, I think, I think, I'm going to have to reread that to make sure I did all that right. And if possible, the king comes from this token. And if possible, well, he can't. He can come from the, from the spawn tokens. So there are special tiles. The special tiles are spawn tiles. They're damage trap tiles. They're, uh, like this one does... You know, damage to people if you walk through it. Uh, there's a uh, one that stops your movement and cause and makes it cost extra to move out of. So there's a little bit of a similarity with the Gloomhaven game that we've been playing, where the traps cause damage and the sludge prevents your movement. What did you like about the game, Tommy? 
Uh, I liked the dungeon building mechanic. The dungeon building? So the, the pulling it, once you saw a new place, you could put a new tile down yeah. and, and the, it would build the dungeon dynamically. And if there is a ghost on your third hand, you can just cross a corner and move away and then he will just cease to exist. All right, so if these guys come over here, then this tile floats away and the ghost <gasps> goes with it. All right, and what else? Um, hmm. I like the models and the doggo. The models are very cool. Um, they are uh, plastic, and you press them together, but you do have to build them. So it took me like an hour last night to build all the models for the two games that we're going to play, including this one. Um, and they're a little fiddly. Uh, that said, it's a lot easier to build these uh, than it was to build their old school equivalents when they were lead and pewter, uh, because that required a lot of holding pieces in place while the glue dried. And sometimes you could get them really screwed up. And sometimes you get them really screwed up. So the models are pretty high quality. They're pretty cool. Um, the uh, the dungeon building mechanic is interesting. When we play this again, we'll play it right the right way so that you guys can occupy more than one more than one in a in a space. Because yeah. you're, I think you're probably right. I think you were spread out a little too much. And that caused our downfall. And that may have caused your downfall, maybe. But you were only three tiles away from finding the, the, the illuminator, so you were you're pretty close, so maybe you're right. What did you like, Gus? Um I liked the map building and the doggo. The doggo and the map building? Yeah. Uh, the doggo is the weakest I think it's the weakest character, but he's sort of the scout, so he's allowed to move a bunch of spaces. And he's cute. And he's cute. But he only gets one attack dice. So if he but runs into a bunch of help. if he runs into a bunch of guys, he needs help, which is where Tommy's notion of our gameplay through the doggo was kinda of by himself for a while. And if he could have had a friend right next to him, it would have been better. Um and I think that's it. I liked it. It was cool. It was very tense. It played pretty fast, uh, once we got it going. Right, once we learn the rules, yeah. we played pretty fast. The thing, I, uh, thing I, I'm not too fond of is if you've got a really small table, you've got to move the tiles around because <laughs> you're going to run run your, your, your dungeon off the table. Uh, and like I said, these models can be kind of fiddly. So these individual models, these heads right here, these very tiny heads are separate pieces that you have to sort of set into place and then squeeze between the body in order for it to stay there. Um, so there's a, a little bit of fiddliness to it. And these chain rasps are uh, also really delicate. They're really cool, but they're really delicate. So I broke, what did I break? I broke one of them that's holding the club and I had to glue it, glue it back on. So it's, it's pretty obvious if you look at it carefully that he's not, is that all of them? Where's the other guy? There's one holding the club straight up. Where is he? Anyway, there's one holding the club straight up and I had to glue his hand to the rest of his wrist in order for it to work. But, uh, but that's it, you know, cool models. There are some abilities that we didn't do. There's a campaign mode where you go down and down and down into the dungeon and you have to find a winch to bring the illuminator up and there's a stairwell and all kinds of stuff. So, and there's also some effects that these cards can do. Each each side gets a hand of three cards. Is right? this the guy? It might be the guy. Let me look at it. Yep, that's the guy. So actually it was not as evident as I thought it was. Uh, the cards add some spoilers to your gameplay and can save you, which saved these guys a couple of times while we played. But ultimately, we couldn't. But ultimately, you couldn't save yourself. And that's it. I'm ready to give it a score. Are you ready to give it a score? Yes. Anything else, Gus? I'm ready to give it a score. Ready to give it a score? All right. Um, what are you going to give it, Gus? I'll go, I'll go ahead and give it a two. Give it a two? Solid two? Two. Solid two. Two. I'm going to give it a two as well. I think it's a... Uh, there's enough that's similar to uh, Space Hulk, which is one of my favorite games, that... It's not quite a three, but it's almost. And like I said, some of the rules are a little fiddly and the models are a little fiddly, so I'm still trying to figure it out. I think I might have to play it one or two more times to see if I like it as much as Space Hulk, but it's pretty cool. I really do like the, the dungeon building 
aspect and how it changes. And I like the fact that parts of it go away. So you got to keep your team together. So you, you two can't go off there and over there, as otherwise you guys will get lost in the void. Cool. So I think that gives it a solid six cabbages. All right. Ready? Yeah. Uh, subscribe, like, hit the bell, Tommy. Leave a comment if you wish. Eat plenty of cabbages, not us though. Because we eat all the secret cabbages, and eating us will get you banished from the capital. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I all right. Bye. Thanks. Bye. See you